Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that when you're looking at an image in Lightroom, often in the top left-hand corner is some information about that image. Specifically, right now for this image, I'm looking at three different lines of information. At the top is the file name, below that is the date and time that I took this image, and below that is the resolution of the image. If I hit the I key on my keyboard, I'll see three different lines of information. Well, two different technically. At the top, I still have the file name. Below that, I have the exposure information, and below that, I have the lens I used in the focal length I shot the image at. Hit the I key again, and I clear it totally. Then I hit the I key again, and I'm right back where we started. So you hit that I key to toggle through everything, and as I mentioned, you probably already know that. What you may not know is that you could change this information. You could put exactly what you want to appear in each of these three lines on each of the two pages of information. To do that, you need to just hit Command or Control J on your keyboard. And when you do that, you'll get this Develop View Options dialog box. Now, if you don't want to show the overlay at all, just uncheck this box and you'll see it's gone. Check it again and it's there. Now, right now, I'm looking at Info 1. This is Loop Info 1. If I want to see Loop Info 2, I could just go to this dropdown and it's going to show this part, Loop, loop <laughs> Info 2. Let's go back to Loop Info 1 and let's edit this. Right now, it's showing at the very top, file name and copy name. Let's say I don't want that. Let's say I want the camera model there, Nikon ZFC. All right, and below that, let's say I don't want the current date and time there. I want, I don't know, something else, megapixels, let's say. It's a 20.7 megapixel image. And below that, I could keep the crop dimensions or I could change that into something else as well. Uh, let's put the copy right there. That's me, all right? So I changed Loop Info 1. If I don't like what I changed it to and I want to go back to the defaults, just click right here again. Use defaults and it's right back where we started. If I want to edit that second page of info, just change it to the drop down to that page. Now it's there. And again, I could do similar things. I could, the top line is the file name and copy name. I could change that to anything I like. Maybe here I could do the capture date and time there. And then that second line right now is the exposure and ISO info. Maybe I, for here, I want to put the creator. Maybe I share my Lightroom with someone else and I want to know if I took this picture or someone else that I'm sharing Lightroom with took this picture. And right now I can see I took the picture. And below that lens setting, uh, that's the default again. And we could change that to anything we want. I don't know. Let's just, for the fun, go to focal length. So um, I took this image at this date and time. I actually took it and it was shot at 50 millimeters. Maybe that info is more important to me than what was there to begin with. And again, if I feel like ah, I screwed that all up, I want to go back to the way it was, just click on Use Defaults. Now, there is another um, option you have is to show the message when loading or rendering photos. And what will happen there is if um, something like Lightroom is rendering a, an image, you'll get a message actually right on the image that it's loading or rendering. And if you don't want to see that, you could just uh, check the, or uncheck that box. Now let's go back up to Info 1 for a second and turn off Show Info Overlay. When that is off, you have the option now. They become active. See these checkboxes underneath Loop Info 1 and this checkbox Loop Info 2? Turn this off totally and you have the option of having this just appear briefly when you change photos. So as it is right now, I have that on. And I'll close down the Develop View Options dialog box. And right now, I'm regaling you with an image of my cat, Jonesy. Can you actually regale someone with an image? I don't think so. You actually regale someone with a story or with food or drink. So I'm showing you a picture of our cat, Jonesy. Let's go to the next image. And when I do, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, you'll get that info loop two showing, and it will be up there for around five seconds, and then it goes away, and there's Rocky. Now let's go back to Jonesy, and you'll see that it's there uh, five seconds or so, 
and then it disappears. Maybe you prefer that type of behavior. Again, though, if you want to see it, just hit the I key and you could then toggle through all the options. And once you do that, it stays that way. So if you want to go back to where it shows it briefly, you have to hit Command or Control J again and then turn this off up here and then turn it on either if you want Loop Info 2 to show briefly or if you want Loop Info 1 to show briefly. You can't have them both show briefly, one or the other. So I prefer to have the normal um, behavior where it stays on the screen and I hit the I key to toggle through the three different phases. That is the uh, Loop Info 1, I hit the I key, I get Loop Info 2, hit the I key again, and then it's off. And that's the way I prefer to do it. I like to have the show message when loading or rendering photos. And I use the defaults, but as I mentioned, maybe the defaults aren't helpful to you. And one of the other options on one of these lines on one of these info pages would be more useful for you. So you should know how to do this. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.